Glory to God. Hallelujah. My name is Kathy Brox and this is the LUTG Radio Show. Amen. Today's show is about deliverance and justice. And I love deliverance. I need it. You need it. We need it. And I am in love with justice because justice is Jesus. Glory to God. He got it for us and he said it is ours to have and to hold forevermore. And we don't have to apologize for justice, nor do we have to give it back. Glory to God. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. It is free. The love of Jesus is F-R-E-E. Free, baby. Free, free, free. All the days of your life to eternity. The love of Jesus is free. The love of Jesus is free. See, sometimes my eye may go cock. Well, it just tilts off. But the word of God ain't cock The word of God is straight and narrow. And it hits your bam right in your heart. Redeeming that soul. Glory to God. It redeems the soul. It saves the soul, which is the mind, will, emotions, imagination, and conscience. Glory to God. Woo! Let us get ready, man. For we are ready to give God the praise. Amen. Glory to God. Let's get our covering on, y'all. Luke 24, 45 says, Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. I thank you, Lord God, for opening up my nostrils, Lord God, that I can breathe with ease. Woo! Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't come down with sickness. I got asked. Well, asthma afflicted me as a little kid, and I do get relief i have relief in the name of jesus because i ain't claiming it for myself get off me asthma in the name of jesus um thank you lord god for opening up the scriptures um this preacher whose name i just forgot i believe his name was andrew oh man i forgot his first name anyway um he uh he, I think the story goes, he helped Smith, Smith Wigglesworth with prayer and he would read the scriptures and pray, read the scriptures and pray because Jesus said this thing come out only by prayer and fasting. And so he would read the scriptures and pray and all the time they were not eating. They were not sitting down to lunch and nothing. So they, they fasting from food and they reading the scriptures and they praying. They reading the scriptures. And they praying. We going to try that y'all. So we are going to put on our full armor of God. Ephesians 6, 10 through 7. And 18 and 19. It says. Finally my brethren be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to stand. Against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparedness of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Glory to God. We covered y'all. Praying with all praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me 
that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, for thou art worthy of all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. We recognize God's almighty, absolute authority. Psalms 104 says, Enter into the gates with thanksgiving and into its courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Lord God, for you alone are worthy of all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Lord God, your word says in Matthew 6 and 13 that you would deliver us from evil and lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from the evil one. There is only one that is evil. His name is Satan. And he has many of different demons that spurn off or sput out and cut off and make new ones. Not new ideas, just new ways of tormenting man. Or should say the same old ways implemented in a different way to torment man. But God said that he would deliver us from all of it. Oh, glory be unto his name. God is our deliverer and our way maker. All praise and honor be unto your name, oh, Lord God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God, for you are our just God. You are mighty and true. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God. Seeing good in everything. Thank First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says to everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Thank you, Lord God, for waking us this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for your peace and your justice. Thank you, Lord God, for your strength. Thank you, Lord God, for a sound mind. You Let this mind that is in Christ Jesus be in us also. Be in you, me and you also. Me and you. We have a right to a sound mind. Glory to God. Don't listen to what the devil says to you. He'll sit in your car and act like he's talking to you through the radio. Oh my goodness. He'll sit in your back seat. And manifest into dead people that are long and gone. And he'll he'll try and tell you things to do. He'll tell you to be evil to your people, to your mother, to your father, to your brother, to your sisters. He'll tell you not to bless them and not to help them. He'll tell you to help them to then to ask them for something. He'll tell you to give stuff to people and then demand something from them. As if that is God giving it back to you immediately. That is selfishness. God is able to deliver you from selfishness, from a perverse mind. He'll deliver you from all spirits of perversion because the enemy will tell you to accost your children. He'll tell you to rub yourself up on people that ain't even your spouse. He'll tell you to beat your child to almost the point of death so they'll know not to cross you anymore. But God says, spare the rod, spoil the child. That means one lash or two lash. He'll, God will tell you to instruct your children in the way to go. That's not beating, that's talking. The enemy will tell you to almost kill your children. And sometimes he'll tell you to go ahead and just kill them. They're good for nothing. He'll tell you to start t- to kill your kids by the words that you speak into them. When you start saying your kids are good for nothing, then that's what they become. But Jesus says, no, no, I call them blessed. I call them whole. I call them to a sound mind. He said, I'm calling them to me. I got a sound mind, a sound mind. Let this mind that is in Christ Jesus be in you also. That's me and you, yo. Me and you seeking him for his help and guidance. That would be Jesus. And Philippians four and six, it says that be careful for nothing, but in everything by power and supplication, I'm sorry, by prayer, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your 
request be made known unto God. Everything and supplication, prayer and supplication. Supplication is thanking God for the thing that you have already prayed for. Supplication is thanking God for the thing you've already prayed for. Lord God, we have prayed for a sound mind and a sound body that's right in your mind and health in your body. We thank you, Lord God, for rightness in our mind, righteousness, salvation, salvation to our minds and, and salvation to our bodies. Oh, Lord God, for you deliver us from evil from our minds and from our bodies because as a man think of so is he. So if you think you're sick, you're sick in your mind and you're sick in your body. But if you say, if you receive the salvation in your mind and salvation for your body, you are in health. You have a sound mind and body and you are sound mind. You have sound body. You have sound mind and a sound body. If you receive, when you receive salvation, you receive a sound mind and you receive a sound body. Therefore, you have the right to call forth for deliverance from evil of your mind, oppression, possession, by the devil of your mind and of your body. When you receive Jesus, you receive deliverance from Satan running around your mind, going about the earth to and fro. You are the salt of the earth. You are made of the earth. And if the enemy can trample upon this earth, then he takes that authority to trample on your mind. You hear me? He takes that authority that he has to go about the earth to and fro. Because you are made of the dirt of the earth and he uses that authority to trample in your mind. He uses that authority to trample in your body. And for him, trampling is squeezing and causing all kinds of headaches and sickness. You get a headache, you go take a pill. You get a headache, you go take a pill. You feel an ouch or an owie, you go take a pill. And God has said, whoa, hold up, hold up. I have provided that something for you. Salvation. You have the right to be whole. You have the right to have a sound mind. Jesus paid the price on the cross. When, when in John 3, 16 and 17, it says, for God so loved the world that he came, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That ain't just man. That is deliverance for the whole world, the dirt, so that the enemy would not have authority to trample you. He defeated death, hell, and the grave so that the enemy would not have the authority to take your life. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You have a right to a sound mind. The next time you hear voices coming out of your walls and out of your stereo system and in your car and ain't nothing turned on. Out of your radio station and it's leading you to death from out of the hearts and out of, out of, seems like it's coming out of people and it's destruction and backbiting. You know, that ain't God. Those are demons standing next to those people, demons oppressing those people, moving their jaws and their lips and, and uttering their tongue to say things to you. Don't be mad at the people. Rebuke the devil in them. You have a right to peace in your mind and in your body and in your surroundings. Each and every one of us is made of the dirt of earth. We are not artificial intelligence. AI is made of the components in the earth. They have these things that they want to call beings. Sapiens. They want to call sapiens, they want to call them beings because they possess cell DNA of man. Well, guess what? Cell DNA of man is dirt. Cell DNA of man is dirt. That don't make them human. In order to be a human being, in order to be man, in order to be a M-A-N, which is both male and female, you must have a soul. In order to be man, you must have a soul. And that soul comes from Jesus. 
So if anything or anyone tells you that those AI things are human beings and they have rights, they have no rights because they have no soul. They were not redeemed from God. And if they tell you that they can put your memories in this thing, oh no, they can't. They can only put in what they type. They say, oh, well, these things can learn intellectual things. They can only learn what they read. So only they're regurgitating things that man has already said. And they're taking bits and pieces and putting them together and forming sentences and lives based on what dirt man has already said. They have no soul. They have no soul. If any inanimate object begins to speak to you and have a voice, question what it is. Because even though God will talk through a donkey, he will not have you kiss a picture and have a picture kiss you back. That would be a demon. For you people that are famous, You people that are in authority and you people that have fans, I would ask you to begin to pray over your images and your likenesses. Because Satan is using your likenesses to draw in people and you think they're drawing that you're they're being drawn to you. No, he's drawing them to hell and he's using you. You have a right. To not have your image used to cause somebody else to go to hell. You may be living upright. But the enemy will use your likeness to confound somebody else. And you have a right for your image to project the life in which you lead. So so for you folks that are heavenly sent, you are saved in the name of Jesus. You have the right for your image To be still and know that Jesus is Lord. A still photo is still. It has no movement. A still photo is still and has no movement. Your voice is not carried through the atmosphere other than by electronic devices. You have a right to your voice. Your voice is unique and it is a gift of God. Therefore, the enemy has no right to use your voice to confound another person. We are all dirt of the earth and we have the right to live. After you supplicate, always repent, seeking him for his grace and mercy. Confess before God, walking in agreement with God. Make intercessions, pray for people, releasing God's purpose into the earth. And spiritual warfare, glory to God, is won by obedience unto the Lord. It's in heavenly places. We often wonder, how should we live? How should we live? Praises be to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, Alpha and Omega. I'm reading Battle Ready Prayer, Lessons to Live By on BattleReadyPrayer.com. Holy One of Israel, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the only wise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is how you should live. Rejoice and be glad in God. You don't wake up oppressed and depressed and sad. You are to wake up with joy because that is how God designed you to awake. To awake rested and full. When you lay down to go to sleep, you are to, you are to sleep and have good dreams. Sweet sleep is what you're supposed to have. Lord, design my day and order my steps in your word. 
Each day is a new opportunity to walk by faith and not by sight. I believe in Jesus Christ and I am not ashamed. I will open my mouth and give him all the glory, praise, and honor. My temple shall be consecrated to God who never leave, who will, who will never leave or forsake me. I submit myself to him in total surrender. I will abstain from all appearance of evil and I will not fuel the flesh. I recognize and rebuke the workings of the flesh in Jesus name. I belong to Christ and I have crucified the flesh with its afflictions and lust. I am not an adulterer, fornicator, idolater, unclean, or lascivious. I am not envious, covetous, jealous, calculating, arrogant, boastful, or full of pride. The only perception of me that matters is God's, for I am a person of great esteem. Yet I don't think of myself more highly than I ought. I will not give in to vanity. I will maintain purity and innocence in my heart and mind. I am the workmanship of God. I will become everything that God said I will be and I am the daily and I am daily perfected. Dear Lord, help me to forget my failures and reach forward to your blessings. I affirm that God is always in control even if it does not appear that way. Because all things work together for good to those that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. In the name of Jesus, I ask the Lord that you will guard my heart and my thoughts. Make me make the careful. Sorry. Make me careful in the. Ooh. I, I apologize. Sorry is to be sorrowful. I do not live in sorrow, but I live by every word of God. Make me careful in the very thoughts I entertain for the spiritual battle occurs in my mind. Help me to keep my heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Help me to nurture your word in my heart and increase me in wisdom. I will pray without ceasing and in everything I will give thanks and praise. Help me to pray with a pure heart. Listen for instructions and eliminate all unworthy influences. Install in me. I'm sorry. Install. Um, I rebuke that. Amen. Lord rebuke the devour for my sake. If I live for every word of God instill in me a divine nature, rich in compassion and temperance and patience. Help me to witness humbly and not to judge or condemn. Help me to maintain composure when faced with adversity. I will confess my sins and turn away from all undesirable behaviors. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, I plead your I plead your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins, for my protection and my and my strength. I am dead to sin, therefore sin no longer 
reigns in me. I am cleansed of all iniquity by the blood of Jesus. And I will not condemn myself. Life is in the name of Jesus. And I am delivered from all aspects of death. I will manifest the characteristics of Christ that dwells in me. I am saved and redeemed by the grace of and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm on number 31 for y'all that are following along. I am a new creature in Christ. A sheep among wolves. And light in darkness. Lord, I thank you. For the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I make myself accessible to its spiritual training. I will be led by the Holy Spirit. He shall guide and direct me and the flesh shall be defeated. Not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the Lord. I live and walk in the spirit. Therefore, I must always abide in the fruits of the spirit. Let me have an ear to hear what the Spirit has to say. Help me to discern spirits of good and evil according to your will. I pray, Lord, that you will strengthen me so that I am not distracted by the enemy. Give me strength to stay focused on the word as opposed to man and lying wonders and the discipline to adhere to your word. Everything in my life must flow from an uninhibited relationship with God. Absolutely all inhibitors must go. I will be separate from the world and in and its influence. I am holy unto the Lord. Lord, give me the strength to rebuke temptation and and sin sternly and quickly. I rebuke the spirit of lust, witchcraft, hatred, wrath, strife, envy, and drunkenness in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of shame, fear, doubt, disbelief, and worry in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of anger and hate, for they are not of God. I rebuke the spirit of oppression, depression, frustration, poverty, sadness, and rebellion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I cast off the works of darkness and complacency. Satan is not a lion. He only pretends to be and he must be defeated. And he must be defeated every thought of the day. I will empower my angels by obedience to the word of God. I will not be stubborn or self-indulgent. I will strive to go higher Through dedication to the word and will of God. I will continue to practice the basics such as patience, humility, and love. I am a good and faithful servant of the Lord always abiding in God's will and not my own. I will strive in tribulation, build on to faith. I'm sorry. I will strive in tribulation, hold on to faith. Have patience for wisdom and strength will come. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. I will study to be quiet. I will watch and be sober. I will respect authority. I am bought with a price. Therefore, I will glorify the Lord with all of my heart. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. The blood of Jesus runs through my body, coming against all sickness, disease, and infirmity. 
Therefore, they cannot abide in me. I give thanks to God who always causes me to triumph. For what? Um, To triumph because what looks like defeat is really my victory. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. For if God be for me, then who can be against me? Greater is he. Glory to God. Greater is he. That is in me than he that is in the world. Father, grant me the wisdom and and the zeal to write. Glory to God. To write by to rightly divide your word. Father, grant me the wisdom and zeal to rightly divide your word. There is always room for improvement. So help me. To be of sober mind and persistence in rightly discerning your will. Wipe away all distortion between your will and my will. Glory to God. I will not be comforted to the world, but I will be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I will prove, I will prove what is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. I am a bold soldier in the army of the Lord, and no one can separate me from the love of God. I choose you, Lord, to be the head of my life. Let your favor go before me and your wisdom guide me. Glory to God. I must always abide in the fruits of the spirit. I am loving. I am righteous. I am peaceful. I am gentle. I am fruitful. I am temperate. I am a person of great integrity. I am. Glory to God. I am truthful. I am holy. I am long suffering. I am good. I am meek. I am honest. (coughs) (coughs) I am also a little bit dry. Okay. I was a lot dry. Glory to God. To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. God wants us to live by every word of God. By all his words. By the whole Bible. When we pray, we continue thanking God until we get that thing. So if you feel something moving around in your body or touching on your head, it feels like it's moving through your body. That would be a demon. You have a right to be delivered. You have a right for deliverance. And like I was telling y'all before, and I've told you so many times, but I'm not tired of telling you because I'm going to keep telling you until you get it. When you think that you are training your sons and your daughters to manipulate demons, you're training them to relieve themselves and to use their penises spiritually to Satisfy their sexual needs upon women. You're using women like washcloths. Unjust. That is demonic oppression. The enemy will allow you to think that you are moving by the spirit of God. And that you are moving with all greatness and power. And that you're having mountain moving power. Not so. Not so. He'll even fake the feeling of the presence of the Lord. Some of you, he'll make you sweat. Thinking, as soon as I say, oh, Heavenly Father. And you start sweating. Uh Uh-uh. Go deeper. Don't be satisfied by what your flesh is feeling. I don't care if you have to take 10 gallons of water with you when you pray. 
Because you sweat so hard, you get dry. See, in God, God will restore you. If he's going to have you sweat that much to the point that you're going to faint, just he will satisfy you. He will nourish you. He will replenish you. Don't be satisfied by your flesh. Stop teaching your, your boys to use their penis and to get satisfaction by some woman that they don't even know. Their penis is for their wife, for the woman that they marry. Their penis is for their wife. They are to prosper in the things of God. That they may be a godly man of their household. Before their wife, their household is their vessel. Bam, this dirt. Their obedience unto the Lord. When they get a wife, they're to love her the way Jesus loves the church. Not to slap her with their spiritual penis. When she gets out of line, don't do exactly as he wants her to do. And not even to hit her with his fist. You don't train a woman or love a woman by beating her. You get a woman to submit to you by loving her. Stop training your boys to rape women in stores. See, they get the feeling of sexual satisfaction. But the problem is, every time they do it, they gain a new lock, a new chain from the devil. God, God is good. The enemy wants to keep you further and further away from Jesus. It's so funny. We are often ready to accuse men and women of abusing children. But you cho- you're training your children to abuse people. And then when they go out and they perform these acts on adult women and adult men, some of them, and you wonder... Why these men are being attracted to them. You're giving them something that does them no earthly good. Some of these people don't even understand why they have an attraction to these to these kids. They don't. It's the things that their fathers taught them and their mothers taught them that were not of God. You wonder why they go from when one person gets abused, then they go and abuse another. It's a spiritual connection. You got to train your kids to say no to the devil. Anything that is a sexual perversion, no. Sex with an adult, no. Assaulting an adult, no. Assaulting another child, no. You want them to have power? They have the word of God on the inside of them already. They don't need to reach for sin. They have the word of God that is more powerful than sin. They want, they want love. They can get it from you. Affection, words of affirmation. They want love. They can get it from Jesus. Love, affection, words of affirmation. Direction in the way to go. The word of God. Communication with God is prayer. Teach them the Bible. You want to give your kids power? Teach them about Jesus. Lead them to Jesus. That's how you get them power. And they can defeat any devil. A bully comes at them. They'll have the word of God. And angels from Jesus Christ from heaven will come and defend them. Will stand with them. The word of God is on the inside of them. And God will protect them and lead them away from their enemies. He will even have them to lead their, lead those bullies to salvation. Your kids ain't got to get beat up. But you got to give them the word of God. 
Give your husbands the word of God. Give your wife the word of God. Your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your nieces, your nephews, your aunties, your uncles, your grandmas and your grandpas, your neighbor, your co-workers. Give them the word of God because I tell you now they're dying. If you think that COVID was just something terrible. If you don't have God and you leave this earth, you will think that COVID, the spirit of COVID was just a drop in the bucket. You will come to find out that COVID was a drop in the bucket. One drop of water in the bucket of sin. You need Jesus for deliverance. You need Jesus for deliverance. Jesus is your example of life. Jesus leads us from sin. He does not lead us into temptation. He delivers us from sin. The word of God says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you want to, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I give up my past life with Satan and close every door to all Satan's devices. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel, how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you, Lord Jesus. I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light every place. Every place you want to go, Lord God. I will go. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. With evidence for speaking in tongues, with evidence of speaking in tongues and interpreting tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations, beloved. You just got saved. Jesus loves you 100%. Amen. Read your Bible every day, starting off with the book of John. Don't miss. Let me know that you got saved. Put it in the chat. Go to lutgradio.com. Communicate with me. Uh, Glory to God. Uh, let me know that you got saved. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is deliverance and justice. God is deliverance and justice. I guess we'll make this one part one of deliverance and justice because there's much more uh, to say. But this is a good beginning. Amen. Um, please uh, become a sponsor of LUTG Radio. I appreciate it. Uh, you can do it at any amount on LUTGradio.com. And um, we're working on getting some more uh, preachers uh, to be on LUTG Radio so that you can grow faster uh, and more understanding of the Word of God. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, 100%. God loves you. And He absolutely wants the best for you. Pray for your neighbors, pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. I thank you that God, uh, that you go in peace. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord God, for your peace upon uh, those that are listening. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your peace, O Lord. Thank you for your peace, Father. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Glory to God. Thank you.